good to us. Lord, we understand, Lord, that we need you here. Lord, do whatever you want to do in this place. Work in our hearts, dear God. Lord, do whatever you want to do, Lord, so that we can glorify your name, Father God, and give you what you deserve. I pray right now for a sincere fellowship on today, Father God. Lord, dear God, let me just spend time with one another, dear God. And we sure to share the love of Christ. Lord, we thank you and we praise you right now. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we do pray and ask it all. Amen. And then Peter made his hand for our scripture reading all this afternoon.
giving. It is offering time. Amen. 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 And we know the Bible says the Lord loves us a what? A what? Cheerful giving. Remember, when you give, whatever you give, your attitude does matter. Your attitude does matter. You can give more than somebody numerically, but someone else can give with a better heart and give a better offering than you because they have a better attitude. That's Cain and Abel. That's the woman with the two mites. So your attitude does matter. So when you give, you shouldn't be giving reluctantly. Oh, it's offer time. Let me put that old time. No, you should know that. You ought to be giving what cheerfully. Right? And I share with us all the time. If you're giving reluctantly and you're like, I don't know about all that giving stuff, keep it. Keep it. Why? Because God says he loves when you're happy and willing to give. So you ought to be cheerful when you give. Whether it's time, whether it's offering, whether it's love gift, whatever it is, give it cheerfully. When you're doing something on God's behalf, using your gifts, do it what? Cheerfully. Parents, we know when you ask that child to do something and they got a little nasty attitude, you're like, man, I tell you, ain't that so all that stuff I done done for you all the time you ask me for stuff, all the time you got your hand out and you've been telling me I should just pick that up and you gonna give me that all that lip. Do you realize God said the same thing to us? Cheerfully. Right? If God is worth anything to you, you ought to give with a cheerful heart. Amen? Amen. 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 If you need an envelope in order to give, raise your hand. I usher to make sure that you get one. Amen. If you say, well, you know, I don't care cash. I don't care the checks. You, we do have the ties in the app. Uh, you can look up St. Uh, St. Mary uh, B. C. And you can look that up. Uh, through Tidal, the Tidal app, and you can do that. We also have our website, uh, www.stmary103.com. You can give by way of our website as well. We also have an app. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you can give by way of that as well. And so, however you decide to give, amen, make sure you give it cheerfully. Amen. amen. Get your gifts in your hand. I want you to raise it toward heaven. And we're going to pray. Dear God, we thank you for this opportunity. We understand and know that all of our blessings come from you. We offer this up to you, dear God, not because we want to pay you, but because we love you, dear God. We thank you for this opportunity, and we give you praise. To the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 Our deacons are coming around to receive that which you are going to hear for today.
shared with me when I first walked down today. Come, you can do it from there, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, one of the family members, um, left donations for three people, one of them. A lot of people, two of the people. She left a $3,000 check for St. Mary's year after St. Mary's year after St. Mary's year after St.
stuff. But the love that God is talking about in the scripture is an agape love. It's a love that is shown no matter the circumstance. Okay? Let me help you out. How many of you, amen, praise the Lord, have had things that you've gone through, and maybe issues or conflict with someone, and you had the audacity or the nerve to say, I'm done with them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. And isn't it amazing how God is so awesome, and he's so slick, and he's so smooth, to where he'll present an opportunity to where you really have to help the same one you say you are done with. Right. Okay, preacher, why is that important? Because that's a love that says this. I may have had an art with you. I may have had issues with you. But yet at the same time, my love is not based on conditions. My love is based on the mere knowing that I want the best for you. Sincere love. God talks about pure love. How many of you know that really and truthfully, we have to teach our children what pure love really is? Now, mind you, let's be honest. Most little children love what pure love. Right? Mm -hmm. Jesus says, suffer not the little children, but to come unto me. Mm -hmm. See, unless you come, what, like this child. Right. right? You can't, what? You can't inherit the kingdom. You got to understand that pure love. Yeah. So you got to understand what the Bible is really saying. That when we come together as believers, when we come to church, when we gather together, our love should be pure. That's right. How many of you know that really and truthfully, let's be honest, in many cases, it's the church and sometimes is known for drama. He says, I'm not going to be with you here physically. And I know 
you can't help yourself. So I'm going to seek you some help. The help that God gives us helps us to bless those that curse us. The love that God puts in our heart helps us to love like Christ loved on Calvary's cross. One of the most amazing lessons I learned from the scriptures is from Jesus Christ. It blows my mind every single time I read it and every single time it's mentioned. Jesus was mocked, spit on, his beard was plucked, he was whipped and he was lashed. He was ridiculed to such a point to where they mocked him and said, the king of the Jews, the king of the Jews. While Jesus is on the cross being crucified for the sins of the world, Jesus had the audacity to say, Father, forgive you. Yeah. 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 Y'all, that blew my mind. Yeah. Jesus helped me to understand something. He realized that it was bigger than him. Because he understood that they still needed him as a savior, and the same ones that helped to murder him could get saved even after that day. So God really wants us to love with a pure, what? Sincere love. I want to look at that word fervently. When you think about that word fervent, my brother talked about compassion. When you think about fervent, I remember Mama Chad back then on the walk shot. And Mother Shelly lived like the days of old. She didn't have all the, 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 the amenities that we have. Yeah. We had to walk down the road and pump some water. Right. <laughs> we had to go get some of that rain water. And boy, don't you get no bugs in my water, boy. Skim that water and get that water for She had a wood stove. That wood stove, let me tell you, would warm that house, let me tell you.
Can I help you? We ought to love one another. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. When you're going through, I care. And I care enough to even rearrange my time to see what's going on with you. A fervent, pure love. Back in the day, long time ago, there was a guy who made this song with Tina Marie. Y'all know his name? Yeah, don't say that other word he said. <laughs> Fire and desire. But you do know that really and truthfully, there should be some fire and desire in the body of Christ. Now watch. Rick James was referring to more of a sensual fire and desire. But we ought to have a Christ-like fire and desire for one another to where when you show up, I'm happy to see you. When I haven't seen you in a while, I call you, girl, where you been? What's up? What's going on with you? Why are you tripping? What you say? Why are you ain't been in church? A further love. Man, I'm checking on you, man. You all right, bro? Where you been? What's up? You ain't that busy? You can come to church. What's up? Then you find out. Stuff going on when you make that call. See, when we have a friend of love, can I help you? Folk gonna know that they don't have to go through by themselves. Nobody in the body of Christ should ever go through nothing by themselves. As fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are accountable to one another. And I want to help somebody. Thank you. Yes, yes. yes. Reverend Simeon. Yes. If you're not connected to where you need to be, you can't get the help that you need. Yes. You cannot experience the love. You cannot experience the assistance you need, the love that you need. And can I help you say to God, we got to do better loving focus. Can I help you? Sometimes we are there bougie with our love. Say to God, sometimes we got a bougie love. A click like love. I want to help somebody. As I go to my seat, you lie there on the We got a click like love. Can I help you? Yes. That kind of love is not sincere love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It matters not where an individual comes from. It matters not their education. Matters, matters not their issues that they're going through. Because one thing the Lord showed me a long time ago, the same thing I'm condemning somebody else for, talking them down for, bashing them for, he could have allowed my feet to tread the same way. So when I understand that, can I help you? I'm not going to love you according to how I feel about you. Right. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate the bus you go, but love is not a feeling. <laughs> well, hold on, now you tripping. Love is a choice. Do you realize God loved us in spite of us? Do you realize the Bible clearly says that while we were yes sinners, Christ died for us? So if God loved us according to the way he felt about us and what we done, can I help you? We wouldn't be experiencing love at all. A fervent, 
sincere love. And you know what? We've got to understand. Love covers a multitude of sins. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So what love will allow us to do is look beyond, watch this, our faults. Yes, right, right, right. See, we say the Lord looked beyond my faults and met at the wrong minds. But the Lord wants you to look past some folks' fault and meet their needs. It's not a love to where I pick and choose who I'm going to love. Yes. It's a love that's pure, untainted, yes. and it doesn't matter. And guess what? It's a love that's shown even if I don't get this. Because yes. sometimes you ain't going to get this. But guess what? I want to help somebody. Yes. Love anyway. Stop loving something. You love anyway. Yes. And I'm leaving with that. It's so hard to love. Love the hell. I love the <laughs> radio. Yeah. Yeah. And love with the love of God. And right. when you need an example, look at Christ. Yes. Yes. He hung, bled, and died for we deserve death, but he died. We deserve the punishment he received because we are the ones that sin. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But he took our punishment for us. They put him in a bottle to wide bottle. And when I was young, I didn't know what that meant. Until I got a little older, that means he had to give it right back. Give it right back. He got up. Yeah. But watch. The old preacher would, he would kind of paraphrase it with all power oh, in his hand. Yeah. But the Bible says, with all authority yeah. in heaven yeah. and earth. Yeah. Yeah. He's going back, sits at the right hand of the Father, but he's coming back for his church. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You know why? This that I tell you, amen. We've got to love for real. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Tap your neighbor and wake him up. 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 Thank you. 
too. Amen. 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 The word God makes you like give God some praise. Amen. 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 I'm going to ask this to the Lord to come forward. Amen. Share whatever the Lord has did for another part to share. Also, uh, give us some directives um, as it relates to uh, what we have prepared. Amen. And praise the Lord. I got happy because when I hit that door, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just got a feeling. Amen. I don't know. That everything was going to be all right. Amen. Amen. In my stomach. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. So when people are kind enough to 
say, I'm going to be a blessing to this church, yes. a blessing yes. to this church, you have to say thank you. Amen. Thank you for your continued support. It blows my mind every time. Every single time. When Sister Delala caught through with it, what you, I'm like, what's wrong with Sister Delala? I'm like, Sister Delala, I'm doing something real. That 
gives us the ability to love one another. So Lord, have your way in us. Allow us to be even better than the way we can. And Lord, use us as you see fit. Lord, bless the fruit that has been prepared. And Lord, bless those that have prepared it. We just pray, Lord, that you allow us to consume it with gratitude and thanksgiving. We love you and we praise you. Now, in the grace of our Lord, in the sweet communion of his hopes, rest you in the Bible, his fort now.